Huge thank you to channel member SDTV Live. Yes. <laughs> Welcome along uh, to the Thursday flight night here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. And I also hope that you are well. So, I'll tell you a funny, well, funny-ish story this morning, okay? So, I set my alarm last night to wake me up about 7 o'clock because I needed to get up for work. I woke up this morning and looked at my looked at my phone and the time was 5 to 8 and I needed to be out the door by 8 o'clock, meaning I'd massively overslept my alarm this morning. So, <laughs> I've had a bit of a day of it today. But it's fine, because we're here to enjoy the evening on board the Continental Airlines 777 uh, tonight on what I like to call a football charter uh, as we head from Newark in New Jersey uh, over to Detroit, Michigan, um, of course, over in the United States of uh, America. Um, how are you all? Did you have a good day today? Let me know if you did in the chat. Um, <coughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Um, um, anyway, I, I can see... I'll get to them in the chat in a minute. Just, I knew it would kick off immediately. Anyway, so yeah. So here we are. So this is our aircraft for today. Our uh, wonderful 777. Uh, taking us in the short one hour, 18 minute flight uh, over to Detroit. Uh, let's go into the cockpit here. Just to kind of get out of the, the noise that is about... Um, Sarah's booing because it's a short flight. She's like, she uh, she messaged me earlier and was like, uh, can you not like make the flights like three hours long? I was like, three hours during the week? Are you mad? <laughs> Some of us need to sleep. Um, so yeah, so hour and 18 minutes today, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see who, uh, see who we've got in the chat tonight. So we have got, of course, Wayne. Good evening to you, Rick Calkins. Always good to see you. Hope you are well. That's, of course, we got Sarah. Um, we've also got uh, Carl Crawford. Hello to you, uh, Welshy Kev. Yes, I saw your comment um, of uh, seven o'clock. Geez, already in by then and done some work, lazy bar steward. Well, get fecked. <laughs> get fecked. <coughs> I don't start my job till half past eight, so I got into work about 12 minutes late, which I've never got up out of bed and out the front door quicker than I have done today. It was crazy. Um, hope it doesn't happen tomorrow. Um, Lee Class, good evening to you. Uh, hope you are well. Let's see who else we have. With Darren Graham Photography, hello. Um, and I think it's time. I think I've not, I think I've got everybody. I do, which means it's time. Human fucking sponge uh, is also in the chat as well. So good, uh, good evening to you. Uh, before we crack on with anything, um, in fact, tell a lie, we can crack on with something. Uh, we can get on with uh, the aircraft. So we've got the gate already, which is fine. Uh, we are going to do catering for this part of the uh, the flight. Even that's an hour and eighteen minutes long. You know what Americans are like. We need to feed them. So let's get the catering on. We're going to go for a catering operator of Chelsea, just because that is my football club that I support, and I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> um, and let's also request boarding as well. Good stuff. Let's. Is that not what I wanted to do? Have we got what I think we've got? Yeah, we do. Okay, we've got custom views, which is fantastic. That's ideal. Okay. So what I want to do is, 
overhead, please. What's the overhead? There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted. I would love to board crew. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so we need just while we tie things over. Flight number today is Continental two uh, 2985, as the Americans would say, but we go for 2985, but we'll call it 2985, which is the flight number that uh, they used to have for this flight. Why the fuck are we going off of four left? Fine, whatever. We'll roll with it. Uh, APU can go on. I can't, I haven't flown the 777 for a while, not since the issues were there. So I'm going to refresh. APU generators, fuel pumps, beacon, that's it. Generator's on already. Fuel is on. Oh, okay. We've got 348 passengers. Apparently, we're not seeing the passengers today, so that's fine. So that speeds things up a little bit, depending on how you view it. Uh, nav light on. Don't need the logo today or the beacon, so we're fine. And. Whilst all that is happening, let's say hello to our resident uh, Super Chat reader. And hopefully she's in a good mood today. It is, of course, Emma. Uh, also, uh, Jim Gemmel is there. We'll just quickly do... You, sir, are a legend. Yes, Jim. Good to see you. Hope you're well. He says, uh, hopefully we don't lose two engines tonight. That would be the worst thing that we could have this evening. Um... Kev says, good, won't be sat here for an hour now. We'll just be 45 minutes waiting for Tom to start the plane. Who am I, Max? Think about it. Think about it. And get over yourself. <laughs> oh, dear. Lynn Keeble, good evening to you. Hope you're well. And Schlaxim as well. Hello, hello. Yes, let's say hello uh, to our resident Super Chat reader. Is of course, Emma. Emma, very good evening. How are you? Kev, shut up. No, do not answer that one. But yeah, Emma, good evening. How are you? Good evening, everyone. Happy Thursday night to you all. Tom, I had a great idea if you'd like to hear it. Mm. Uh, sure, why not? Go for it. Okay. So I logged into your Instagram account earlier and... You logged into my Instagram? Yes, I did. Shut up whilst I tell you my idea, will you? It's my... It's my Instagram. I said shut up. Basically, after watching Max sit at the gate on his flight for what felt like a fucking eternity talking to fake-ass GP, I thought to myself, hey, would NT it be a fun idea to have a bingo card for all the things Max does? You know? Copying your flights, sayings, questions, actions, all that good stuff you do. What do you think? Should we let the chat decide? We'll get back to you logging into my Instagram very shortly, but I actually think that's a really good idea. And I do think we should let the chat decide whether we come up with a bingo card. <laughs> I think that's a really good idea. So um, I'll let the chat decide that. What a great idea. I'm surprised. You can tell my surprise that Emma's come up with a really good idea. She's never normally full of them. But great idea. I'll take it. Um, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll give it to the chat. Why not? See, not just a pretty face. I also have great ideas too. Anyway. We are keeping the donation limit for me to read out your super chats to two pounds, two dollars or two euros or more, if you wish to support that way. Otherwise, you can support us by leaving a like or dislike, it's up to you. It all helps out in the end. And, once you've done that, enjoy the stream tonight. There you go. Who'd have known? Who'd have known she'd come up with a great idea? We may implement that for the next Flight Sim stream. <laughs> Lots of people laughing. Um, <laughs> Carl says, uh, has Emma been drinking? Fuck knows. I mean, she she may very well have done. She may very well have done. Um, Emma says, uh, sorry, Sarah says that Emma's a genius. It's a good idea, actually, to be honest. He does, I have noticed, and she did show me the clips of the food chat that we have that Max was having with nobody. So, um, we may have to come up with a bingo card, I think. Which sounds like an idea. Halfway through the passenger loading, because again, like I said, we are not seeing passengers this evening. So it's a quick and easy load up with the passengers. The only thing that I think would be the issue is taxiing out here, because I've been here before. 
Um, and it does get very busy here at Newark. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm just going to turn the brightness up on my phone so I can actually see the uh, chat here. Uh, Dogwood, good evening to you. Hope you are well. Uh, we are coming up with an idea. For, actually, do you know what? We'll do it in the poll once we're in the air. It's fine. We'll do it when we're in the air. Yeah, hope, hope you uh, hope you're well, Dogwood. <laughs> Non-stop Dom says, "Pretty face." I always imagined Emma as an absolute YouTube retracted. You watch your words, Dom. She whoop your ass. Trust me, I've seen her whoop men's asses before, and she'll do it to you. Um, Sarah says it is mad how he says exactly what you say, etc. Maybe that's why Emma's like catching on to it. Maybe that's why she's catching on to it. Uh, no ATC. No, there is ATC. See. There is ATC. And if there wasn't ATC, you wouldn't see the subtitles. So there you go. So just while we wait for the remaining 100 passengers to board, how was everyone's day? How was it? Was it as lively as, uh, as mine? Or was it just plain Jane, simple, easy? Getting one day closer to the weekend, sort of thing. Cars is plain boring day. Max had a good day at school. I had work experience. He said, very nice. I got to uh, I got to pick up a few freebies today from work uh, because there's uh, there was one person who um, hasn't been paying for his storage unit, so he had to like sort through it and clear it. And I picked up a few freebies, which I'll also show very very shortly. My inner geek came out today, and I saw this this thing and I was like, oh, I want it. <laughs> so so they allowed me to take it, and I was like, nice. Tried it. It works. It's not bright enough to use it as my only light, but. Yeah, it's good enough. So I will take it. Uh, Dogwood, so bad that I've decided to take tomorrow off. Oh, if only. If only. Uh, who is she, Tom? Uh, who, who, who's what? Who's what? What do you mean, who is she? Rick. I'm assuming we're about Emma. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, yeah, the electric... That's not what I picked up. No, I didn't bring that home. Who is she? Oh, the freebie. Oh, very funny. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> the electric wheelchair, yeah. I, I, I didn't bring that home. No, it wouldn't have got in my car. That was quite funny, though. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, I forget what we're supposed to climb out to, so we'll leave it at 10,000. We'll set the speed just while we wait for the last few passengers to board. might actually help if I get the joystick in place. Something I thought I'd never say. Uh, great to hear that uh, Dom is getting over the co over the COVID. Okay, so we've heard the bong which means that boarding is done. So what it means is we can... Uh, can we turn that up? Here we can. Nice. Not by much, but at least it's something. Flight directors go on, which they are. Which is ideal. Real sounds for the 777, like we did with the freighter. Um, so there was a thing that I showed you before. We did a flight and all of this was like pink. So it's taken me a while to get this to actually get back to how it should be. So fingers crossed, the sound should actually work um, as well. So <coughs> aircraft is ready. Uh, we're going to prepare pushback. Uh, we're going to go back to the overheads. 
which is this. We're going to get the beacon on because we're going to be starting the engines momentarily. And we'll be good to go for our flight over to Detroit. Yeah, it's very interesting. So we've had some interesting flights on the flight sim with the uh, Anset 320 that turned Hello, into a helicopter. We are ready for pushback. And the um, BAE 146 that uh, lost two engines. So, uh, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been eventful, isn't it? Hopefully, we'll have an uneventful flight and we'll just go from A to B without any without any issues. Wayne says, one day to go, then a week of annual leave. Very nice. Very nice. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. A to B to A, says Sarah. Really want that return. Really, really want that return. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll buy it. Why not? Uh, time I'm getting my money tomorrow. I'd it's in just to let you know. Well, thanks for letting me know. Information that will stay with me forever. Uh, Tom, from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say a huge thanks to you for the mods. Sorry, to the... Hang on. <laughs> Let's go again, shall we? Hang on. I don't want to be clicking buttons. I don't need to be clicking. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Um, from the Tom, from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say a huge thanks to you. To the mods. You're saying thanks to me to the mods for the great support so are you hang on so I, I never under, I never know what's going on here from the bottom of my heart I'd like to say a huge thanks to you for the great support so is that is you, I'm assuming you're thanking me and the mods for supporting you is that right is that right I don't know <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Alright. Time for push back. And apparently we're going for four left, which is quite annoying. Because the flight plan is set up for two two left. Uh, two two right. Uh, which means it's a longer taxi than I expected. This is a little bit annoying. Um, so we need to push back and Okay. So not there, obviously. So just literally where we are now. Sarah's booing. Why are you booing now? I just did, did I not? Parking brake. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Alright. Here we go then. Let's uh, get the noise turned up a little bit more. Long taxi. Oh, that's why she's there. <laughs> Sorry. I got it down as 2 2 uh, two, two right. Which made it a lot shorter than it should be. But uh, ATC decided actually, no, we're going to send you out of the fours. So, fair enough. Alright, here we go then. Let's get the uh, G90 set up. So, engine 2 can go on. And then we'll immediately put some fuel in. Remember, it does this, this little bit of glitch.
set parking brake. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Yeah, there's still one or two issues. With, uh, the, the pushback side of things, and of course the fact that the aircraft sinks in the ground. to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. for Max, we played the sound effect one more time. One more time. really good for pushback right now, uh, which we've done, and now we can go and, um, <laughs> the, now we can, um, oh Jesus, okay, let's see if it works, hang on, alright, taxi lights on, Parking brake off. Here we go. SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob Square Max. Do you do 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 do
Uh, you should really do Newark to Dubai with United. You should really learn to love your sound effect. Just saying. Uh, <coughs> hurry and taxi so we can get to the best part. You know what the best part is, Kev? If you really don't want to hear me, you could always, I don't know, watch something else. <laughs> <coughs> don't worry, it's on its way. Uh, Dom says on... Uh, oh, sorry, one of my video... Uh, go again. One of my upcoming videos uh, is an Emirates 777 flight. See, I'm just totally copying you. Yes, you are. Stop it. Otherwise, we'll start getting a bingo card for you two. Okay, on the straight, we'll uh, press some buttons here. We're going to set the flaps to 5 degrees. That's all we need. Let's be taxi out here. We've got a FedEx plane in front of us. Uh, United Dreamliner, potentially. It's our line, 737. We're not going anywhere near that, so that's fine. We're going where, possibly where this one's going, and where that United plane currently is sat. So not that much traffic, I thought there would be, but obviously not. Uh, UPS. Um, sat there as well with FedEx, you can see just there, that looks like an MD-11. Triple seven for the night. Uh, I've done that flight before. Well done. Would you like a medal or a round of applause at least? <coughs> Sorry to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that, that does make me laugh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sorry to be a pig, but what does UPS stand for? <laughs> Pigs in the chat, please. Pigs in the chat. Um, UPS stands for United Parcel Service. Why would you think that you... Hmm? Fair enough. So the United Embraer has just disappeared or timed out. We have about a five minute timeout, I think, for aircraft. What have we got here? Is this uh, this could be Avalo, I think, or Avelo? However you pronounce it, Avalo, Avalo. I think it's ears, isn't it? We're looking at doing some flights with uh, this airline. They do some very interesting routes, actually, if you look them up. Avalo, Avelo. Very interesting flight, so we'll uh, look into doing some of those as well in the near future. Yes, Tom, applaud would be good. You ain't getting an applaud. I'm just curious to know why you thought you were being a pig. But no mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Carl, I've just seen the message in the group chat. Appreciate that. Thank you. <coughs> so this is the bit we're waiting on now. Is the uh, sitting. United currently sits up my ass. Now Triple Seven sat waiting. Not entirely sure what the Avalo is doing. Or Avelo. However you want to pronounce it. Avelo. Uh, we're waiting behind Max, says Dom. It feels like it. Yeah, it feels like it. So we're on a, uh, a uh, NFL charter flight tonight. Who's that coming in? That? Is that the new JetBlue livery? Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's awesome. Nice. We've got that livery. Right. 
Sarah says, ah, not yet. Not yet. Not until we got clearance. Uh, we need an Air India flight at some point, says Carl. We can do that. Just go around it, says Carl. Yeah, I'm not going to go around a, a velo. It will disappear. If it doesn't disappear soon, then I'll go straight into it. Because I think... Does our line go... Yeah, our line does go through. But, uh... There we go. The Velo got, uh, got clearance to continue. I'm not entirely sure what it was waiting for, if I'm honest. So interestingly, we're going off of the different runway that we were supposed to. So, Avello taking the intersection departure, we are going for a full runway. Wayne, I'm still waiting for Sarah to get the flight sim so we can actually like get her to stream. So a fellow is crossing. It's not uh, not taking off. It's it's uh, it's crossing. So we've now got clearance. Ideal. You know what that means. Kevin Sarah's favourite part is coming up now. Here we go. Enjoy the silence.
Beautiful. Um, right, Dom says engines just stop. We're all going to die. Absolutely not. Um, Did the sim freeze? No, it didn't freeze at all. Although, yes, yes it did freeze. Just a temporary glitch as we uh, make our way out of uh, Newark. Uh, over two, and a very light takeoff as well, which is quite, uh, quite interesting. As we head on over to Detroit for our flight. We're going to go for... Nice. I'm just going to go through the views here to see what we've got. I am going to be pressing the buttons. Uh, back to the cockpit, it's fine. I'm going to go for... What? Not that one. <laughs> we'll go for this one when the time comes for it. We are climbing to 12,000 feet at the moment, so it's close enough. Okay, so let's get the engines pumped up now. Okay, so we're past uh, 10,000 feet, so landing lights can now come off. Uh, also very surprised at how Newark behaved. Again, it's all very weird to me. Kind of did, don't expect Newark to behave as well as it has done, or any of the busy places to behave as well as they have done. Um, so yeah, interesting. Uh, Carl says flexi wings. Beautiful, isn't it? love the continental livery. I know it's like the United livery and stuff, but it's always going to be like uh, continental for me is like the one. Like I'll always see the United livery and just immediately think continental. NFL football players or cricket are on this flight. Well, it's not cricket, and it'd be NFL if it's a football charter in America. Ever considered an air choreo flight? Problem with that is you can do it, but the, the, they, the aircraft that they have, I mean, the aircraft they have are not on the flight set. However, that does not stop you from uh, getting the livery. So if I type in Air Choreo, you can download liveries for it, um, but they'll be for like fantasy planes that I've never had it. So I mean, you, you could, you could. It would be interesting, I think. Uh, cases I can tr translate what wing types, but that's a whole other ball game. A bit like it. So, the fact that we uh, got off another way not long ago, about an hour or so, we'll be touching down in Detroit.
was supposed to climb the wall. Two o'clock Continental two nine or eight five have the traffic. I've been meaning to do some more triple, triple seven flights. Um, we'll be having some seven six seven flights as well, and uh, coming up very very soon. Once a livery pack has been uh, made for it, there is another plane that I've downloaded. In fact, two planes that I've downloaded, which I'm not going to reveal just yet. However, let me just read this follow thing out here. Uh, in fact, I'll read out the next few. Uh, Sarah says, "What are you doing, the Ryanair 787?" Very good question. Let's do that next week. <laughs> Let's do that next week. I think that could be a lot of fun. Uh, so next week we'll do Ryanair Fantasy Flight 787. Just because I know it will piss people off seeing a, a 787 in the Ryanair livery. So we'll do that. Um, Max is saying that, uh, Tom, talking of Continental, are USC's the livery? For the 767-400, good. I fully expect this flight to now be copied in reverse. Um, is there graphics for Detroit, Tom? Yes, there is. There is uh, scenery for uh, Detroit, just no scenery for Newark. And Carl is booing Sarah for the fact that uh, she's requested the 787 Ryanair flight. We have got it. For the 787-10, uh, I think we do. I'm just going to see if they've got it for the Dash 8, because I would much prefer the Dash 8 over the Dash, uh, the Dash, uh, Dash 10. I've got a feeling they don't do it for the Dash 8. No, I'm going to say no. Seven, uh, oh my god, what's that one? Uh, we got the 737 700 with the Ryanair livery. They haven't got it for the uh, 787 dash 8. No, oh, that's annoying. Never mind, we'll have to do it with the dash 10 instead. Never mind. So yeah, so dash uh, Ryanair dash sorry Ryanair seven eight seven dash ten will be nice way. Just as a little bit of fun that we uh, we're doing that, we'll pick the flight and everything else. So, yeah, lots of uh, lots of good fun stuff to come next week. Be nice. And don't forget as well, uh, this Saturday evening we have got our games night, of course, which is uh, four guys this week. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, Max says, "What's the flight going to be for Ryan Earth for the Ryan Earth 77? If so, will it be Stan said to Fun Charm?" Uh, I'm not telling you because you'll copy it, so um, you'll have to wait and see. We'll have a flight in the afternoon. Um, Saturday. Flight in the afternoon on Saturday and the games night in the evening. What's on Sunday? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, so Sunday's kind of like the free the the free show as we call it, where like we can just do anything we like. I haven't actually got a clue <laughs> as to what to do. 
uh, for Sunday. I'm not sure whether to do the drop-in or to do something else. I'm not sure yet. The last drop-in wasn't wasn't great uh, in terms of the fact that like I had hopes that more people would have joined, but they didn't. Um, so like I said, I don't want to like burn it out because like, it's one of those ideas that I kind of want people to feel excited about, come onto the show, talk about certain things, but like not do it like all the time. So yeah, I, honestly, I have no idea. I, I've got no idea what uh, what I would do for uh, for something. Because I've been toying with the idea of potentially like dropping a weekend for it. So like the the free shows and stuff to kind of drop the free shows and do like three shows a month, which will be like the rate my deliveries, the quiz, and Bobomania, and just do those three and like give myself one of the weekends to kind of just do nothing. Do you know what I mean? So like then take like the free Sunday to do like a flight sim or an extra games night or something you know like still do something on the Sunday to kind of get people you know feeling a little bit better about the working week ahead if you know what I mean uh, Sarah says no rate my livery for a while yeah so that's that's not that won't be this week that'll be next week I don't even think there's a 747 for it. Uh, Sunday Ryanair 787 longest Ryanair flight. <laughs> Possibly. But do you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to... Um, so this is kind of where I need a little bit of feedback sort of thing. Where I, I like doing the drop-ins, but I don't want to be doing them all the time because it just it, it burns out very, very quickly. I kind of want it to be something like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, fantastic. Which is why, you know, we're doing like the quiz once a month, right? my liveries once a month, the Bomber Mania once a month, because then it gives you like something to look forward to. The fly sim streams are obviously very different. It's everyone can unwind after the, the day of work or just being busy or whatever. So it's kind of nice to do that. But when it comes to like the, the time where we do the drop in or the show where it's kind of like freestyle sort of thing. It's like, do I go back to doing, like, topical stuff? Would I need a co-host to do topical stuff? And go from there. So the idea is, is to, at the moment, in my head, the idea is to potentially drop the show and do three a month. Potentially. It's not guaranteed, but potentially. But still do something on the Sunday. But not sure what. Uh, Sunday you can do landing challenges, I haven't done them for a while. Yeah, I gotta feel like I want to do them. That's the thing. I know people enjoy them and stuff. What I think annoys me the most, a little bit, well, I say like the most about the flight sim. Uh, landing challenges is you, you can't just pick one do it and then pick another one from the menu and then do it you have to like exit the menu exit the whole thing go back to the home screen then pick one then load in and it's like very time consuming so yeah don't know uh, AV chat uh well, that's the idea, like, so what Dom has said just there with, um, uh, do a show with, like, general and uh, aviation chat and stuff, like, we've done, that's what we used to do, uh, but we did it, like, every week, so maybe we could do something like that, I, I'm 
still in the process, and I've been do doing this for a while, uh, looking for a co-host for the show. Um, and we've had two in the past, but one for, another, for one reason or another, obviously now no longer part of it. Two, uh, the other one that we had was Steve. And Steve has other engagements which obviously we respect. And, uh, you know, Steve is still part of the team and everything else. Steve comes on when he can. Um, so, so yeah, so it's kind of, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of very, it's very interesting to think about, really. So there's a lot for me to think about in terms of where I'd go from this, from, uh, go from here now, sort of thing. At the moment, my brain is fried. <laughs> so, trying to like, yeah, trying to like come up with stuff just a little bit, um, a little bit on the old tough side at the moment. Co-hosting with Sarah just be pure Ryanair. Do you know what? It'd be fantastic. <laughs> It'd be great to get Sarah on for that. Just to literally talk Ryanair. It'd be quite funny. She won't do it. She won't do it. I don't know. I've got to have a think. I've got to have a think about where to take the uh, where the best direction to take this is. So bad. Get Jack on, but that just need react this, react that. I like the idea of like the general aviation chat and like the news, right? And uh, yeah, thinking like it could be good, and we could do like uh, what's the best way of putting it? Like a, a, a different co-host for that particular show every time we do it. I think we could do that. But yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm still not sure whether to start it soon like this Sunday or just give myself that Sunday to kind of just be like right here we go again sort of thing so I'm not yeah I'm not, I'm not sure Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'll have a think. Everything's a bit of a blur at the minute. Uh, just as every channel gets clowns thinking they are being clever in the comments, it's how they handle them that matters, of course it is. Um, I think he actually meant ETA though. Uh, no, there is an ETE. Uh, th there is something called an ETE. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like es estimated time of like what, how long you're in the air for, I think. Quick Google search, hang on. Uh, <clears throat> so ETE means estimated time on route. There you go. So it is the, the time that you would basically take from being in, basically in the air. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the overall the overall meaning of it. So it's basically how long you're going to be in the air for. Which is your ETE. Uh, our Continental 777 has the dirty effect as well to make it look a bit more genuine, which I think is quite nice. A little plane going into the engine. Beautiful. Very nice. Uh, if you want to find someone, try Grinder. Yes, apparently I've heard that's really good for finding a podcast co-host. Must try that one day. Max says, Tom, I've got to say this. I've got to say this. I've got to say this. So I, I, I won't have to say it, but I will say it. Um, last, time I, last time when I did a Typhoon flight from Coningsby to Presswick, I wonder why you went to Presswick, uh, but failed to land it. So that'd be about 99% of the flight should do. Um, Lynn says, uh, have Sunday off and regroup, gives you a chance to find somebody. I think we could, we could like skip the the podcast and stuff. Not to say that my enthusiasm for it is out because it's not. It's, like, it's far from it. I'm constantly trying to think of ways to change it to kind of make it more like I don't know. Interesting is not the word to use, but like to uh, you know, evolve it kind of thing. I think that's kind of the the, the right phrase to use. Um, Jim says, no shit, Max, you never even landed on the runway you smacked into the grass between runway 30 and the A77. Like that. Uh, I did a display at air show, but keep crashing a plane, but except I did the Red Bull Cup rafters, Typhoon Extra 300. What? Sarah's asking for a general knowledge quiz. Because aviation, you. <laughs> that's because an aviation quiz. Uh, you said you wouldn't be any good at. One two seven decimal for seven five for Continental two nine eight five. Cleveland Center Continental two nine eight five flight level three four zero. Paul Hussey, very good uh, suggestion there, and also a very good evening. Um, it says, possibly do the history of a specific airline, airport, or aircraft. We have done plenty of those in the, uh, uh, sorry, plenty of those before. I'm sure we have. Yeah, we did, yeah, we have. We could do something like that. But what I, th I think I'd need somebody to do it with. 
So I think that's where the whole like going back to the aviation chats and getting like someone to either be a permanent co-host or like changing it every time we do it, getting like a special guest co-host type thing. Well, I think that could probably work. I think. Uh, Carl says, "Good to a Spitfire flight through the peaks uh, and the Mac loop. The Mac loop uh, thing is uh, something that uh, I am looking into. Um, th th I know somewhere there is a flight plan you can download that has the route. So we could do like instead of landing challenges, we could do flying challenges and fly aircraft through the Mac loop." I'd, yeah, I'd have to like uh, find the thing, find the, the uh, find the flight plan, fly it myself to take an idea uh, of of how you do it, and then just see what you, aircraft you can take through it. Um, take a seven four seven through the Mac loop. It could, could very well do. I've seen people take bigger planes through. And it does look like a lot of fun. So yeah, so so could 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 very well be something to uh, to look into. Carl says David could be a good co-host. Always something that's on my mind is 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 David when it comes to co-hosting because I think his knowledge is wonderful. He's got a very very good knowledge base. So I think he could. Uh, yeah, he could be quite good. Uh, Kev can co-host. Can I mute Kev if he's going to co-host and then just be like, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> this is lovely. Uh, Kev says, I've actually seen the C-17 come through the Mac loop uh, for training with two Typhons following it as chase plays. It, it, yeah, it has, it, it has gone through, yeah. has gone through. It would. We'd completely forget about like aviation. We'd just be like that bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be like. Did you see that bitch? <laughs> if you're enjoying the stream, of course do consider leaving a like on the uh, on the video, or if you dislike it's entirely up to you. Both help out. Regardless, um, as a show of support, of course, uh, you can also. I haven't done it yet. Oh god, do you know the temptation? The temptation to be like, yeah, and then see if he actually follows through with that. Can you see it in the chat? Can you? Can you see it in the chat? Can you? Y'all can see it in the chat, right? <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I should be like, yeah, sure, why not? And then just sit and know that it's not going to happen. Like an appearance on the quiz and everything else, it's not going to happen. The appearance on the quiz, £50 donation, what are the other things? There's some other things, I'm sure there is. But yeah, th those things aren't happening either. <laughs> uh, Jim, Jim would be a great one, but Jim wouldn't do it. Yeah, Jim wouldn't do it. And I respect that, so that's fine. 
Uh, Max says, I'll be like, yes, hello, everybody. Welcome to my new co-host of the Departure Lounge podcast here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. No, it's not welcome to your new co-host. It's welcome to my, my new co-host. And you're fired. Uh, David Bone, good evening. Uh, he says, evening all. Hope you're well. Uh, watch Kev says, Rob Brown for co-host. Not a bad I mean, like, like, I just... Like what me and Wayne do with like the model maintenance side of things, we would need literally just someone to come on for a show. You can even do it just the once. Come on to the show. We can talk about a particular airline in general, an airplane in general, airport in general, um, and just yeah, just have a night of like being a special co-host to the show. It's easy, simple enough. I know you're on like people on camera and stuff like that, but it's easy. And it's easy. It's easy. You just forget about everybody else that's watching and you just have a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and everything's wonderful. It's all good. Don't know what the, uh, don't know what the, 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 the problem is. I do know what the problem is, it's fine. Um, Sarah says Lewis would be good too. Lewis probably would be a good one. Walking off every 30 seconds, says Carl, and Jim says he'll need his TV remote and GP in his ear. Fake ass GP. Top of the chat, if anyone wants to become a member of the uh, Corporate Club, by supporting the channel that way, uh, you can uh, click the link at the top and uh, get the, uh, the perks of a shout out at the beginning of the show and, of course, at the end of the show as a thank you for the wonderful generosity um, <coughs> uh, to uh, uh, yeah, the wonderful generosity towards the channel. Like I said, if you are enjoying, then uh, and you haven't smashed the like button yet. Uh, do uh, feel free to hit it to also help support us that way as well to get more eyes on the streams. So ultimately, that's what we're here for. We'll try and get as many eyes on here as we can. Will I have to do like the quiz, like introducing people? No. So what would happen is basically I'd get the night off and you would host the quiz. Like, that'll be it. Max can just host the quiz. Could you imagine how that goes? Um, basically, uh, I need to just have a look at some man milk before starting the quiz. Oh, sorry, Mum, didn't mean to fart in your face. Basically, question one, what is two plus two? What? Sorry, that is not the question. Question three, sorry, I mean question two. Uh, what is uh, Air France plus Air Canada? <laughs> oh, I was going to do a poll about something, but I can't remember what the poll was. Rolling Stones poster, um, which I thought was quite cool. Um, 
but the, 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 the big thing I got that I'm quite happy with and I will show you because I'll have to turn my lamp off for it um, what, I, what I did manage to find or purchase not purchase but I took because I was allowed to let me just get the thing up here so I can actually see it uh, here's, here's the freebie that I got and I'm well chuffed with this I'm like proper, like proper, like geeking out over it. Can you see that? Pac Man Ghost Light. <laughs> I picked up one of these and it changes colour. Right? So it changes colour. Right? Pac Man Lamp. Right? Uh, and it also has party mode, which means it reacts to music as well. Oh yeah, so it reacts to music. Um, and uh, I've tried it, uh, not the music side of it, but I have, uh, I have tried. And. Uh, So I'll try it. I'll put it on now. Hang on. So here's, here's what it looks like out of the box, right? Out of the box. Okay? Doesn't look like much. Alright? So that's what it looks like. Uh, if I turn everything off in terms of the lamp, hang on. You can't see me now except the. Uh... Oh, shit. Hang on. Wait a moment. Just. Alright, hang on. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to try and work this out a little bit now. Okay. Are you ready for the awesomeness? Look! <laughs> it's awesome! Look how much it's changing colour. And uh, you can change it to... Yeah, so it changes colour. How cool is that? <laughs> and uh, so a warning for anybody that uh, has any flash uh, you know, epileptic type things. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. So I picked it up as a freebie. So when you tap the top, it just... Yeah. See that? So it's state Look, how cool is that? Things about to get funky up in here. <laughs> That's cool, right? Or you can change it to literally where it just changes colour. See? So the problem is if I was to put it down. So you can see it's not very bright unless I bring it up to my face. See that? But for for like aesthetic reasons, it looks awesome. So what I might do uh, is there are some screw holes at the back, like here, like just there. So what I might do is I might try and pin it up for Saturday uh, and try and pin it up on the wall. But pretty cool, isn't it? So I picked that up as a freebie, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, Fifteen quid they cost from the shop, apparently. <laughs> yep. Back to normal. So yeah, fifteen quid apparently from the shop, um, and I got that out of the. Uh... There you go. That's a bit better. 
Um, so yeah, 15 quid from the shop and I got it out of a container that the customer had not paid for for a while so we literally just cleared everything and we got to keep what we like. Some good stuff in there, but that's the but my inner geek went for a Pac-Man light. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, it's awesome. I love it. So what, yeah, so what I might do is um, I'm going to find a way to like hook it up to the wall so we can have it in the background for like the game time or something. I think that'd be really cool. So it gives me some work to do. It keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, so two modes, 16 uh, color, sorry, color changing mood lights. So it sets the mood for uh, for what you like, whatever you like. I haven't done it with the reactions to the music yet, so I may need to, yeah, I might have to have a look at that. I don't see the instruction manual, but how it's supposed to come with one. Setting the Pac-Man Ghost Light to party mode makes it flash and change colour in time with your music, apparently. Yeah. So that's about as exciting as my week gets. One of them bad boys. <laughs> Just literally picking up for nothing. So yeah. I'm going to put it back in the box now, because knowing me, I'll leave, like, forget it. So yeah, uh, yeah. So the other the other freebie was like just a, a Rolling Stones uh, poster that had been unopened. Uh, otherwise, uh, some other interesting bits and bobs that we found was um, a Pink Floyd uh, ticket from a concert in Rotterdam in 1994, along with the European tour scheduling and everything else, like the book, which I think was pretty cool. Um, a load of like um, voodoo shit as well, which is interesting. So I feel like now I've got bad energy. So I know if anything goes wrong over the next like day or two, I know it's because of that container. freebie I pick up. That's why I love my job sometimes, because you get to pick up certain things. Um, Kev says free uh, uh, command, yeah, command strips, uh, saves bit holes on the wall. That's what I've got, uh, that's what I've got Lily on at the moment. <laughs> She's on command strips. Alright, let me take myself off camera for two seconds, hang on. Oh yeah, yay. about the clumsiest person in the world. I should start making the streams like 18 plus because otherwise people are like you must watch your language and I'm like Come watch me be. I'll watch you kiss my ass instead it's all about freedom of speech on this channel say what we like um, crabs are biting incorrect Sarah says gone for a one pump absolutely not and Carl says ball scratching time you can't see me do that even if I take myself on camera uh, take off camera or on camera 
Have you seen the way points the next two are nuts nutsack? No, they're not. No, they're not. They actually are. <laughs> They actually are. One is nuts and one is sack. That is amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. See, I, I don't look at the room. You see, when it's uh, when when Simbri uh, like generates it. So when you lot point out to me, and like I sit there and go, well, I don't think I'm sure there's, that's not true. And then when I see it, it's little gems like that that just make these evenings so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, so literally next it's sack and then nuts, but the way that it's put into the system is nut sack. Amazing. It's perfect. Uh here we go. Uh Max says, right all announcement for you, my money is due tomorrow. Um so to say on Saturday I will hopefully donate fifty quid. Can we screenshot that please? Um and keep hold of your screenshots. Um, for Saturday, so that when it doesn't happen, as we expect it not to happen, we can go from there. Um, Kev says one of the last is no, it's not. Should there is, it's not choose. It's not choose at all. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow. So we've got choose. Nutsack. Choose nutsack. That is feckin' amazing. That is awesome. What a route. What a route. Literally. Choose nutsacks. Brilliant. Love that. That's great to crack. That is actually quite funny. So yeah, choose... Nuts. Sack. Volpe. Yes, you've got Volpe. Then we're heading to Sack, then Nuts. <laughs> then Feral. we got Feral on there as well. Amazing. Love it. That is quite funny. Um, Jack says Afternoon. May as well do it. Uh, Kev says, and Jack pops up when you say, Choose Nutsack. Coincidence? I think not. It's like Jack's ears were burning. That's because choose is like an alarm for Jack. So when he like hears like choose or anything to do with food, he like pops up like a meerkat and goes, must must tune in. And then he gets the time of day wrong by saying afternoon. Rubbish. So yeah, evening, Jack, not afternoon. Um, Carl's already done it. Uh, I've just got the screenshot in the group chat. There it is. Very good. So, yeah, so we know now, if it doesn't happen, we've got the screenshots from back. Oh, also, because uh, I've only just seen it. It's off to bed for you. Max got timed out. It's only taken an hour and a third, well, literally an hour and a half in. Uh, Lynn's also got a screenshot too. I mean, anyone that's got a screenshot, hang on to it. Hang on to it so we can see if it happens. I already know it's not going to. So I'm just sitting here like, yeah, okay. Yeah, of course you are. Uh, Jim did it at the start. Did Jim do it at the start? Fair enough. It's off to bed for you. We'll make up for it. Why not? question of course ladies and gentlemen um, what did you have for your dinner what's this poll then Tom oh 
Oh, of course. Yeah. Hang on. supposed to do at the beginning, um, but it's now in there. Um, so yeah, while, while you guess, um, Welsh, uh, sorry, Lee Class, uh, fish and chips he had for tea, beautiful. Welsh care, pork chops and new potatoes with green beans, fantastic. Carl Crawford with uh, chicken pops and french fries, chicken pops, beautiful chicken pops and french fries. I had, uh, what did I have, I had uh, Jackie potato with uh, tuna salad. Tuna, no, that's incorrect. Tuna mayo on top. Fucking handsome, it wasn't beautiful. Very nice. Jack has sent me a picture of his, his food, and it can only be described as dry. <laughs> I mean... Oh shoot, that's me. Completely forgot. Alright, 240. Did everyone have? Let's have a look. Um, oh dear. Evening, Tom Martz and everyone. Good show as usual. Thank you very much, Paul Hussey, for the super chat. Getting, uh, getting Emma to speak this evening. Um, hope you're well. Welcome along. Bingo card does sound like fun, but sit and think about it first. The attention that was why I put the poll in the chat. Okay, Jack's got a better selection of what he's drinking than he is to what he's eating, so I'll take that. It's a good shout. Not had that for a while, may have to get some of that. Yeah, may have to get some of that. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so we're uh, we're descending now um, through nuts. <laughs> we're on the nuts waypoint. Uh, we are descending through nuts. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else does everyone have? Let's have a look. Uh, Carl Crawford says tuna salad cream is better. Not. Uh, tuna with garlic and herb sauce, says uh, Kev. Uh, Lynn says, minced beef, potatoes, big beans. Uh, using up all the leftovers, I always cook too much. Very nice. Wayne had uh, chicken parmo, curd fries, and mozzarella sticks. Lovely. Sarah says, is it sausage and rice? It is not. There is rice involved. Um, cheese nuts. <laughs> yes, we are going down on them nuts. We are on the nuts waypoint. Uh, deploy the air brakes and you'll be dragging on nuts. Yes, everyone get your nuts related jokes in now before we get to wing nut. That's our next uh, waypoint. Got the uh, landing recording program thingy magic ready. We'll also get. The feet per minute thingy magic, which you call it, rating thing, we'll go for thing. I can't think of the name for it. We'll call it a thing, because why not? We'll have that uh, ready to go as well. Uh, are they Nobby's nuts? 
Very nice of Nobby's nuts, by the way. Don't be, don't be dissing on Nobby's nuts. Best nuts around. It's all gone nuts related to this, uh, this evening. What has happened? I'm allergic to nuts. Keep choking, <laughs> choking on these nuts. It's all nuts related. Get them all out now. Get your nuts out, folks. Get your nuts out in the chat. Why not? Not related jokes in the chat, please, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, uh, update. Um, Max is currently talking to his remote control as he's about to uh, take over the landing at Alicante. Uh, keeping an eye on it. It won't go well. <laughs> I could, I could, I could, I could put it on stream so that you can see how his landings are. Just saying. Um, <coughs> uh, Jack says, uh, Sunday vintage fly in, so hopefully uh, to get a tiger moth and Augusta at uh, Compton. A bass. Very nice. It's nice when you're up close to a, a tiger moth. Very nice. Okay, so literally, decision needs to be made. Shall I put it on, sh on, the, on the screen? So you can see Max landing on it. Like, need a decision, like, literally now. Okay. Be quick. Let's see what you usual all put. Uh, can we go for 264? Uh, 161 says uh, some mill. I don't know if he's in or if it's in. Hang on. Uh, Max going for 67. Okay. Rotate your heads, folks. Do it with me. Rotate your heads. Clear to land runway 10. Sorry folks, it's the only way you're going to get it. And Bush. Bush, I should say. Bush. Bush being the operative word. Jack going for 161. See how he's... See it? See it? This is why we need a bingo card. See, Bud says Jack. No worries. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. That's enough air time. Just flip your camera. I can't. I can't do that. I, I, I can't rotate the screen. It's, it's, yeah, it's a strange one. I can't rotate it.
Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to descend. And I have. I am supposed to descend. We were too busy watching Max and we didn't descend. No! Stop it! Thank you. Okay. We are going to absolutely send it now because uh, we should have descended to 14,000 feet already. Uh, let's get the speed knocked back to 250. Well, let's get the speed break out a little bit further. A lot more because we are going to be plummeting right now. Um, as we... Yeah, that's right. Fine, we're good. No worry. Just see now. Crash Bandy Sponge. You were turning ahead to see Max. I thought you. No. I, I can't. I, when he does it, it's arse backwards, basically. So I can't tilt. So, yeah, you know. I can't. I, when I do the window capture, I can't flip the camera. So, uh, yeah, we're off to choose now. <laughs> we're off to choose. saying auto landing so what's the best way to describe it when so when I when I land I get to about 500 feet maybe a little bit less than that or maybe more than that actually maybe like between a thousand and whatever right um, so I will take over about 700 feet and then manually land it I think Max literally waits to the last minute. And that's, I think, where it comes a bit, a little bit like. But mine is done on autopilot. His is done on the AI piloting, which we've spoken about many times and how shit it is. So, yeah, there you go. feedback Do. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a burst strike at Bournemouth Airport, delays up to 12 hours. This is Jack. Oh, the birds ate DC or what's this, Sarah? Must have been angry birds. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 Me. 12 miles out, we're like 9,000 feet up. I don't think we're making that. Maintain present heading and altitude continental 2985. Continental 2985 has the runway in sight. Maybe. Maybe? I mean. Oh, that's the airport there. Oh, we'll never make it now. Didn't think we were going to make that. Yeah, didn't think we were going to make that. Aircraft have decided, nope. We're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to try and do a little bit uh, differently. God says go for it. I, there's no way. There's no way I'm going for it. Absolutely no way. Jack says that guy's a good fitness coach. Pull up, pull up. Did think we turned in far too early. We have done. <laughs> Did we turn in far too early? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Interestingly, we were climbing then. Sarah says, pull out. <laughs> yeah, very good. I'm not going to read the following comments, but very good. Very, very good. All right, so we're near, uh, near to landing now. It's uh, Detroit on our... Um, Fantasy football charter flight from Newark to Detroit. Do like I, I do enjoy flying the triple seven. I must admit. Um, we're gonna get the recording going now. Uh, we're gonna get the music paused, and we're gonna come out of there. Go into the chat again. Cool. All right, folks. Time to get the uh, feet per minute rating in, or as we call it, the landing rating uh, for this evening. 
throw them in the chat. Let's see what you got. Uh, Kev says 298. Interesting. Wayne with a buttery 145. Sarah with a triple three, of course, because she doesn't go any lower than the 300. Uh, Dogwood 195. Uh, Carl 193. Very good. Hopefully, I mean, like I say, we managed to float the 777 from FedEx down at uh, Frankfurt the other week. Uh, the other night, rather, I should say. Jack with 190, Lynn with 153. So hopefully we can do a little bit of buttery goodness on the 777 here this evening as well. Just seems to float quite nicely, so it's you know, it's quite nice to, to land. As you see, not, not needed at the moment, because we are still flying with the autopilot. So once we're ready to take control, we'll take control of the throttle and the aeroplane as well, and uh, hopefully bring her down to a very buttery score. So, what happens if I put approach mode on? Hopefully the aircraft should now follow the approach. We're going to go back into full screen. We've got the recording going. We're going to go... Is that five degrees of flaps now we're on? Yeah, five degrees of flaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. town of Ida in front of us. Let's see what we can get here. Hopefully the aircraft hits the... Uh, why are we going to... I don't think we were supposed to go to 2000. Screw it though, we are going to 2000. We are quite low for the approach here. It's fine. There's a uh, Rado's crossing. Little airfield there. Interesting. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's take it down to 180 speed. watching the altitude at the moment. Speed brakes are armed. Auto brake will set very shortly. We'll take it to about... I think we'll go two. Auto brake two today. Don't need too much of a rollout with this aircraft. hoping that the aircraft's nose will start to dip very shortly. Uh, in fact, we've got a long way to go yet, so probably not yet. So we're going to keep it at 2,000. The aircraft's not liking us at the moment. As we've gone to 15 degrees of flaps. Field should be should be there. Maybe. <laughs> what a great name for a town, by the way. Maybe.
probably looking at this going, fucking hell, he's a bit low. Okay, so I can see bits and bobs coming up in the background now, so that must be possibly the airport there. Not really level, which is a little bit. Unless we are actually level with the uh, with the runway. There's Exeter, by the way. There you go. Anyone wants to know where Exeter is? It's apparently right near Detroit. Must be the airport there. We are very low, actually. We are quite quite surprised at how low we are. Let's have a look from the outside. Yeah, we'll go for another set of flaps. Okay. Gear can come down. Seventy for a minute. Praying that the nose dips closer we get to the uh, to the airport. That's the aircraft turning now to align itself, hopefully with the localizer. There's our runway coming up. So hopefully. Fingers crossed. We'll go for full. Full batch of flaps. Going in on this front wake up. Please let it be smooth so that we can got a decent uh, so we got a decent replay at least. That nose to dip, I don't think it's going to. Right, we're off. We're in control. Here we go. Uh, so, just while we get the speed there, we're going to go auto brake two. We're now in control. Hopefully, the uh, thrust works. 1000. Two 
hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Fuck off, man. So the 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 thing came up with uh, one was it one uh, sorry not one uh, came up with like was it four twenty eight or something didn't feel like a four twenty eight landing to me that's why I'm very very skeptical. Now gonna let this Delta CRJ taxi pass us. We got some flights coming up with that as well. Um, we need to pick a gate now. Yeah, certainly did not feel like a minus 428 landing, but we'll see. We will see. Let's uh, go out of full screen. Let's uh, stop the recording. Taxi. What did Valanta have it as? Yeah, rubbish. Rubbish. Don't. I don't. Do not trust these landing rates. I really don't. Let's go for Delta Five. Yes. Yes. And we want. Let's go for ASIG. Free this parking from AI. Good stuff. There we go. So we can turn uh, because we're down. We can turn the landing lights, which were off anyways. So that's fine. Strobes off. I think I turned those off already. Anyway, I think we can get the flaps back up. Yes, we can. Flaps about back up. Wait for the uh, wait for the car to turn up. Uh, Kev's got to go, so he says, "See you, folks. Uh, see you all soon." No worries, Kev. Thanks for uh, popping in. Appreciate it. Thank you. Four right, but they wanted us to go in on three right, which is weird. We land technically on the right runway, then who knows? Uh, yeah, Max has got to go as well, probably to the toilet. <laughs> Just guessing. All right, let's taxi then to our gate. Here at uh, Detroit, you can see we've got Evil Spirit uh, right there. We've got 737 from United. Where are you going? Brakes can now go back up.
So our first time landing at the Detroit uh, scenery, and uh, it would obviously take a little bit of time to uh, register and kick in, etc., which is why there is some stutter. It is not the PC. We know that the, the graphics and everything else, they've been turned down in. In flight, they seem to work perfectly. We know that on the ground, sometimes not so much because everything is having to load in. Apparently that's our gate there where Evil Spirit is. So, Evil Spirit, you may have to leave. Sorry, just that's how you get rid of Evil Spirits. Short taxi to our gate as well, which means uh, we'll be getting the landing replay on momentarily. Lynn says, going to say goodnight to you all. Have a busy couple of days coming up. See you all next time. Take care. All no worries, Lynn. Thanks for showing. Uh, thanks for popping in this evening. Get the replay going momentarily. And then I'll uh, show you what we've got coming up next. Obviously, we've got games night Saturday, but uh, we are doing a flight in the afternoon, and I'll show you what we're doing in a minute. zeros but it's fine. Okay we'll pause there. Uh, we'll cut it off from Volanta. Welcome to the two yeah, welcome to Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport. There you go. Cool. Alright so another flight in the bag. Good job everyone. Those who have left a like and uh, support the channel through Super Chats. I really appreciate it. Those who have uh, been watching this evening really do appreciate it um, as we get myself off the screen, ready for the landing. Um, big thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put the landing on now. Big thank you to you all for uh, for joining me this evening. Just going to turn the sound down just while I talk to you. Um, your support as always means a lot to not just myself but everyone behind the channel um, and uh, yeah hopefully we can continue to entertain you with these flight sim streams and of course a lot more that uh, we have coming up on the channel so from myself just very quickly um, let me get the picture up uh, and I'll show you what we've got coming up Saturday afternoon it's a good one here we go. This is Saturday afternoon. We are flying the uh, Embraer 195E2 from Jerez in Spain over to Tenerife North with the uh, Binta Canarias uh, Embraer 195E2. That's what we're doing on Saturday afternoon before our games night. People have been asking for Binta for a while, so now we can do it. So that should be a, a fun little flight to do. But for now, uh, thank you so much for watching tonight's show. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like or a dislike entirely up to you. Thank you to those who have super chatted. Thanks to those who are just here for the banter, of course, and uh, we'll be doing it all again Saturday. So enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening. Enjoy your Friday. The weekend is so very nearly here. And enjoy the landing of our Continental 777 into Detroit uh, Metropolitan Wayne County Airport. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Take care and good night.
wrestling as more than one royal family.